Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be looking at uh, linear programming uh, exam type question for NC level 3 at an excellence level. So in this video, we will be looking at um, the second part to the uh, problem uh, we did in the previous video. So some of the skills that will be demonstrated uh, will be linear programming processes and steps. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, parallel lines, gradient of a straight line. Uh, we'll look at um, using a new objective function that leads to uh, multiple solutions and then we'll find the optimal solutions using Desmos. So we already looked at the first part of this problem uh, which says a furniture company produces inexpensive tables and chairs. The production process for each is similar in that uh, both require a certain number of hours of carpentry work and a certain number of labor hours in the painting department. Uh, each table takes four hours of carpentry and uh, two hours in the painting department. Each chair requires uh, three hours of carpentry and uh, one hour in the painting department. During the current production period, uh, 240 hours of carpentry time are available and 100 hours of painting is available. Uh, each table sold yields a profit of um, $7 and each year produced is uh, sold for a $5 profit. Uh, so this uh, question we already looked at in the previous video. Uh, so please do check that one out. It says how many tables and how many chairs the company needs to manufacture in order to reach the maximum profit. So we've already done that. So that was at an achieve level. Now the second part says later the company found that each table uh, sold yields a profit of $12 compared to uh, the previous estimate of $7 only and each chair yields a profit of uh, $6 compared to uh, $5 that they uh, predicted uh, earlier. Determine the number of tables and chairs that need to be produced and sold to reach the maximum uh, profit. So we want to investigate the uh, effect the uh, new uh, objective function will have on the uh, number of uh, tables and chairs that needs to be uh, produced. We've got this information from the previous question. So we'll form the uh, new objective function and it's given by P is 12X because now we have got $12 uh, dollars profit for each table that's sold and $6 for, uh, for each chair that's sold. So it's 12X plus 6Y. And uh, we already know that the general form for a straight line is AX plus BY equals to C. And uh, the slope intercept form for straight line is y is equal to uh, mx plus c, where m is the gradient and it is the coefficient of x. We can quickly rearrange uh, uh, this into the uh, slope intercept form. So when I'm doing that, I will move this ax on the other side. Remember, change side, you change side. So this is a pretty basic calculation that's required for uh, excellence. So you can see I've moved AX on the other side. So it's now minus AX. And then of course we will divide by B on both sides. So if I divide by B on both sides, I end up with uh, uh, C over B minus A over BX. And then from here, we already know that the coefficient of X, which is here, is the uh, gradient value, so minus A over B. And uh, using this, we can then find the uh, gradient of the uh, of new objective function. So we can uh, see that uh, gradient is given by, this is AX plus BY equals C form. So A value is 12 and b value is uh, 6 so i will go uh, negative 12 because negative is part of the um, equation there. negative 12 over 6 which simplifies to uh, negative 2 so the gradient of this uh, new objective function irrespective of uh, what the profit is is always negative 2 and then uh, we'll uh, look at the equations we'll do the same thing and see if uh, this new objective function is uh, parallel to the um, um, to the other constraints we hit. So cup entry, we've got 4x plus 3y. So I will quickly arrange. So it's ax plus by is uh, equal to c. So a value of 4, so negative a over b. So negative 4 divided by b, negative 4 thirds. Uh, likewise, we'll do it for painting. 2x plus y is less than or equal to 100. And m is negative 2. So now you can clearly see that this uh, gradient of negative 2 is same as the uh, gradient of the objective function we now can say that uh, these two lines are parallel so parallel lines will have the same gradient 
So in this case, the uh, new objective function's gradient is uh, negative 2, which is same as the um, gradient of the uh, painting in equation. So this is telling us that it will have multiple solutions. Uh, our goal now is to uh, find those multiple solutions. So if you have done this much and uh, said that it has got multiple solutions, you will qualify for merit. And uh, if you found those multiple solutions, which is our next goal, that will lead to uh, uh, excellence. If you go on desmos.com and uh, type all the um, in equations, so I've already typed those in equations here. Um, and you can see that the feasible region is here, the darker red region. Now, if it's difficult for you to see the feasible region, what do you need to do is you can go shading out. I'll just quickly reverse these signs. So if it's uh, less than, I'll change that to greater than, and that becomes the region I don't want. I need greater than equal to zero, so the section that I don't need is less than. Likewise, I can reverse it. It's easier to uh, see the feasible region. You can see the unshaded bit now is the feasible region. So I'll type the objective function 12x um, plus 6y is equal to. So we'll use arbitrary value. Arbitrary values are the random values that we can assign to the profit function. We'll use the same profit uh, that we had in the previous section which was 410 and the moment I do that you can clearly see here that this is the uh, objective function it's parallel to uh, this line here here which is the equation for the painting uh, uh, constraint so we know we are maximizing so uh, so maximizing if I keep increasing the uh, x value you'll see that this line will approach and it will reach towards the other side of the feasible region. So we'll increase this uh, profit. Let's say, uh, let's go with uh, 510. So the moment I change those, you can see the line is approaching the uh, approaching towards end of the uh, feasible region. So I'll change that to let's say um, 550. You'll see it's gone closer there. And if I go 650, so once I've done that, you can see the line has passed the uh, feasible region. So we know a time will come if I keep sliding the line towards the right hand side, a time will come that it will superimpose the uh, paint uh, constraint, which is over here. So uh, that's telling us that it will have multiple solutions so what i will need to do is i have to find the uh, multiple solutions between 30 and 50 uh, tables that we had to see what the corresponding uh, chairs are click and uh, uh, you just drag the uh, line so this is where the point of intersection was and then if i keep dragging those i'll get multiple solutions now we already know that we cannot have decimal number of uh, uh, tables and chairs sold so I will have to pick all the um, whole number values so one solution here is 31 uh, tables and uh, 38 chairs then if I keep uh, moving down I will see 32 with 36 then uh, 33 with 34 you may have noticed a pattern there right 34 with 32 so the uh, slope is for each unit increase in x so if i increase the x value by one the y value in this case will go down by two because the gradient was negative two so you'll see that so if i change this to 35 i'll expect the y value to be 30 so let's check that one out so that's that's another way of uh, getting all the solutions so 35 with 30 there and you would have guessed it if i change this to 36 i will expect two less because it gradient was negative two so it goes down by two so if i go to 36 you'll see i get 28 and then 37 will give me 26 and then 38 will give me 24 and likewise i can get all the possibilities right and then uh, like 45 with 10 then 46 will be 8 you would have guessed it so that's what's uh, required here but please do um, pick all the um, uh, whole number values because we cannot have decimal number of uh, tables and chairs so what i will do next is i will use some of these uh, values and uh, fill in the uh, table so what i have got here is uh, i have um, filled in the table 
using the vertices uh, uh, from Desmond. Uh, so what I would suggest is uh, if you could uh, pause the video and uh, try and uh, fill in the table yourself um, and see if your answer matches with this. So every time uh, you would have uh, seen that uh, we get a uh, maximum profit of uh, $600 and there are various uh, combinations that will uh, give you that. So for example, first one was uh, 30 uh, tables and 40 chairs. So 12 times 30 plus 6 times 40 is 600. Likewise, we said that 31 and 38 will give you a maximum profit as well because uh, we had multiple solutions and uh, we always pick the uh, integer values because we cannot have decimal number of uh, tables and chairs uh, manufactured and sold. So that's why I picked all the um, uh, values here. So these are some of the uh, values. There's uh, lots of combinations that we can have. So once you've got the uh, table filled in, then we write the um, explanation for this. So as this new objective function is parallel to the painting in equation, there are multiple solutions between uh, 30, 40 and uh, 50 and 0, which we saw on uh, Desmos. Um, so the table shows several ways of combinations for manufacturing uh, tables and chairs to yield a maximum profit of $600. For example, 31 tables and 38 chairs or 32 tables and 36 chairs or 40 tables and 22 cheers, etc., will yield a maximum profit of $600. So, once you've done this uh, and explained uh, your thinking process, you will uh, qualify for excellence. Um, so, there, there's not much of a calculation needed for this uh, achievement standard if you have got access to um, Desmos. Uh, it does uh, quite a lot of um, things for you but what you need to know is there is a pattern there you know slope um, was negative 2 for the objective function so this objective function has a slope of negative 2 and we had multiple solutions in between 30 and 50 so this is a pattern like I mentioned earlier definition for um, gradient is for each unit increase in x the y value increases or decreases by the gradient amount so in this case, we had negative 2. Negative 2 means it goes down by 2 for each unit increase in it. Then 31 goes to 32. Then 38 goes down by 2. So every time there's a pattern there. Hopefully you can see that. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.